that is different from I will have everything that I need. So the moment I tell my mind what I have, meditation means that I have acted what is in the script. I have seen myself in the script. So that my emotions are even stirred. God. My emotions are stirred. In a way that if you tell me that there is no way, if you call me poor, I cannot even understand what you are saying. I understand what it means from the word of God to have money, to hold it. See, when I was sick, eh? every day I'll be hearing God's word, be hearing God's word. Every day the devil will be telling me, Aramel, you're dying. I spoke God's word. Hands were laid upon me. But when I go to lie down, you know, the devil just, something will tell me, you have lived a good life. Even if you go now, you have done well. Those thoughts will come. Then I will imagine, okay, who will come for my burial? Who will not come? These thoughts, eh, your subconscious mind, you can't deal with it in your strength. This is, it goes beyond power of positive what? Thinking. Because if you try to think, you will not see anything. It is a commanding force. But that day, I was coming from Abidjan. I came from Abidjan. I sat down on the plane. I said, it's over a year and a half that this pain has been in my body. I don't know why. I was just thinking on God's word. In the plane there, I said, Rome, who said you are sick? Who said you are sick? This is a conversation I was having with myself. Where? On the plane. Who said you are sick? You're not. You are healed. I said, you are healed. Everything was still happening on the outside. When I dropped, this is why I said, I'll tell you. As I dropped, we it picked me. It was on the 24th. So we got into Makodi. I told Google, I said, get me a hotel. I don't want anybody to know I'm in town. I want to surprise them in church. So I said, I'm still saying it. Yes, because I was surprised. So I got into a hotel. What's the name of that hotel again? Now? Is it saying that I got me a hotel? No, it's not you. Eh? Okay. So Christmas morning, they were serving food. The hotel gives free food to everybody. They brought this big bowl of rice with lots of things in it. I wasn't hungry. As I got up to enter into the bathroom, all the symptoms visited my body. My knees were cracking. The pain was excruciating. I walked into the bathroom, and I fell down in the bathtub. When I got up, I got myself up. I held the bathtub. I held so tight to the sink where you brush, and I told myself, I don't know. Do you know that fear that I will die? It was not there. I was on the ground, but there was no... There was no fear in my heart that I would die. So I, there was no, nothing was telling me of funeral. I said, God, even if they say you don't believe, I don't believe your word. God, you know that I believe your word. I said, I don't care what death says. I don't care. I am the healed of the Lord. I struggled, had my back, put on my clothes couple of spoons, left the food, uh, they came, took me to church, and you know how I went. <laughs> As we left there, I said, let me check on LB. Because prior to this time, I'm sick in my body. They say, ah, so so person died of cancer. Instantly, fear will grip me. Fear will grip me. Arame, see this person. You know the thoughts that will be fl flashing through my mind? If this person can die of cancer, how are you better than this person? But as I went to see, here it is. Did, are you learning anything? Yes, sir. As I went to see LB's mom, because she had died of cancer, there was no, if it's before, I will not go. I was there, just talking to just encouraging him, Pastor Tom was there. As we were driving, I didn't see Wifi again. I said, Wifi. Then I went out. Lo and behold, Wifi was crying. I said, why are you crying? See, they just called me that my, my father died this morning. If it's before, 
If I hear that with his father died, the first thought that comes to me is that he are dying next. But that day, I just I was on encouraging him. I collected the car keys. I drove from Makodi to Boko, encouraging Wifi. As I went to lie down, waiting for Xmas Jam, because that year Xmas Jam was good. Even last year too, I carried my family and came for Xmas Jam, and they surprised me. Hey man. So this year I'm not coming for any, not coming for any Xmas Jam. I'm going. I'll fly away, <laughs> not to glory. Hey man. But I left. As I left, praise the Lord. I was lying down. Mrs. Chianson kept calling me. My phone was, I was deep asleep because that was the first time in over a year and a half that I was sleeping. And I knew I was sleeping because every time I'm sleeping, I knew I'm awake. But I was sleeping without any form of pain. She called me. I didn't pick. When I got up, I saw her missed calls. She sent me a message. She's still here now. What was the message? She said she saw a violent beast, like a dragon, that attached itself to my body, pressing me down. It violently came out of my body and ran out. And she was so scared. She said, what is this thing doing in pastor's body? When I called her, she was talking to me. I think she said she spoke to you. You told me. Because I didn't tell any of you in this church here that I was sick. There's no, I didn't announce anywhere. That's why I said there's a cause of action. Because if I didn't set my face as a flint, hmm, all the contradictory evidences would have put me down. When she told me, she was shaking, almost with tears. I said, don't cry. I told her, I said, Favor, don't worry. It's done. She said, but what is it? I said, forget. I kept that text. My body did not get healed two weeks later. It didn't even get healed three weeks later. But from that day, my activities changed. I began running. I began jogging. I began doing my exercises. You know why? My subconscious mind had agreed with what I have been mentally seeing in the word of God, that I am the healed of the Lord. That's how I'm standing here before you today. So when they say cancer cannot be cured, you have to deal with that cancer cannot be cured. That programming. This is why if someone is teaching prosperity and cannot give, his subconscious mind has not accepted that he's wealthy. 